We are in day three now of our uh, Pure Times Trolls World Tour full review of the bundle set. The bundle set, if I haven't shown you guys or this is your first time seeing one of these videos, looks like this. I did pick it up on Memorial Day weekend. They were having a sale. It retails at $98, but I did get 35% off of that. So I got a really great deal for it. And I've been saying it comes with five eyeshadow palettes. I ca apparently can't count. It comes with six eyeshadow palettes, a face palette and a lip gloss. So what we're doing is we are going through each one of the eyeshadow palettes and creating a full look based on the genre of music that uh, it is encompassing in that particular palette. So we've done pop, we've done rock, and now today we are doing techno. Now, let me tell you, I don't know how to dress techno. I don't. So I used the, the trolls in the movie for reference. I looked up pictures of them and they were just really bright and colorful and mainly blue and green. And so that's kind of what I channeled in my outfit. Obviously you can tell that with my lipstick, I went hardcore into it cause we're gonna go hardcore into it today. So this is what the colors look like. They are absolutely gorgeous. I really love this center blue right here. Um, I love the two teals, one semi shimmer and one is matte. You've got a really pretty lime green and then you've got a really nice brown in case you wanna do some dimensional colors. Um, and then uh, you've got this nice kind of mustard uh, yellow uh, shimmer shade. So there's a lot to work with. Now, what I am particularly thinking for this particular look, particular, how many times can I say that in one sentence? I'm gonna go for a record. Uh, so what I'm thinking for this look is I'm going to do uh, the green as like the wide shade all over the eye. I'm gonna go in with teal over that. Probably going to do a touch of this on, I'm thinking uh, my highlight in my brow bone and my inner corner. And I really wanna highlight the center shade, this really beautiful uh, shimmery blue. I'm not sure I'm gonna touch either one of these two. I'm going to try and get the mustard in there somewhere. And I don't think, I'm, I really don't think that I need this one. I would rather it be very bright than have that um, that dark shade in there kind of giving it some um, some shadowing and some dimension. I, I think that the brighter with this particular look is, is gonna be better in my opinion. So that's what the plan is. So let's stop talking and let's start doing the makeups. All right, I'm going in with that lime green shade right now. Right meow. It's actually incredibly subtle. Can you even really see it, Nikki? Yeah, it's like way more muted than I thought it was gonna be. I'm kind of shocked. You know, for what I'm I'm doing with it, it's not a bad thing because I am doing it as the widest shade, but I really was kind of hoping it would be more pigmented if I'm being 100% honest. I will say I am ranking these little bad boys too as we do them and as I test them out. Uh, so far, I like the rock much better than I liked the pop one. Um, so that those would be one and two at the moment, but obviously that may change uh, in our March Madness bracket uh, in May. Well, June, oh my God, it's June now, okay. In June, our June Madness bracket for the eyeshadow palettes. Um, it may change. I had high hopes for this one, but I'm really disappointed by this green shade. That's one of my favorites and it's just so subtle. It's almost yellow on the eye. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. I don't want it to be like, oh, it's awful, it's horrible. It's not, I just was hoping it would be brighter. I definitely kind of feel like a 90s, late 90s, early 2000s pop star with these. And they are definitely from when I was a child in the 2000s like for certain have just had them that long. I used to have the butterfly clips, but those were so horribly made that uh, they all broke probably after uh, like two months of owning them. So. so they are now in a landfill somewhere. So I did start picking up the matte teal shade. Um, it is also very muted. I'm gonna actually probably have to go in with a, a tighter brush because it's not doing what I'm hoping it's going to with the fluffy brush. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye just so it looks even before I start uh, trying to pack it on there a little bit more. I'm kind of sad. This was, this in my opinion was one of the ones I was looking the most forward to because it had such unique colors. These are colors, and that was my biggest complaint with the pop palette was that I just really felt like they were colors that you could easily find in other palettes. And these bad boys, if you're buying them separately, uh, not on sale, they retail at $18. So they're not really cheap for six colors. I mean, it's not awful. $18 is not terrible, but I just normally, if I'm gonna spend money, I'd rather spend a little bit more and get a good variety of colors in a palette. Palettes that have 12 or 18 or even 20 shades sometimes. So that's just my personal opinion on it. But I was really looking forward to this shade, there, this, this particular palette, because I felt like the shades were incredibly unique. And they're, like I said, they're not terrible. They're just not as uh, breathtaking as I was hoping, as I had built them up in my mind to be. Let's go in with a tighter brush and see if we can get a little bit more of that teal to come out and really kind of uh, make it a little bit darker, especially here. Mm, not much, a little bit, not much. It might play well if you went ahead and did like a cut crease and did concealer and then put this over it. Like if you had a really neutral basis, that might look 
a little bit better, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of relying now to save this palette on that center blue shade. I really have high hopes for it, and if it's a if it's a dud, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be a sad I'm a sad turtle. Okay, it's kind of got like a mermaid feel going on. If if I'm being honest, like it doesn't look bad. It's looking pretty. It's just I. I just want more from it. Maybe that's my own fault. I have these high expectations and it, it, I didn't, I palette didn't deserve that. I put a lot of pressure on it. I'm sorry, little guy. All right, I am actually going to go in with that darker shade and just do like a touch of it on my under eye. Like the really dark shade that I said I wasn't gonna even try and use. I'm gonna do that on my under eye because I think that might look cool. And I did use the same brush that I had the teal on. So it's got like a little bit of teal in it. Kind of makes it really pretty. I'm feeling it. Yeah, I like that. That's been my, that's been my favorite thing that we've done so far. Okay, off camera, I did the other under eye. I really like how that actually looked. That color, I mean, obviously I used a very concentrated amount of it in a very small space mixed with one of the other colors, but it really made a really nice under eye look. So I actually did, I'm impressed with that one. Um, shockingly, <laughs> everything else is kind of like me. I'm gonna do some concealer and go ahead and get this area cleaned up. If you guys have seen me do makeup before, you probably know what I'm gonna do about halfway to here. And then um, I will put the blue over that. I think that'll work nicely. And uh, then we'll do the uh, the shimmer light blue and we'll see how it looks. And I'm not going to touch the, the mustard yellow today. I don't think that it's gonna play well with what I've got going on so far. So yeah, we'll leave that alone and we'll test it out another time. But like I said, my goal for this is to use like four or five of these colors in each palette. If I can use six, awesome. But if I can use four or five, I think that gives you guys a really good idea of what you can do with this palette. Cause obviously you can do anything you want to with a makeup look, but it gives you a variety to see the different colors. So let me clean up my eyes and then we'll be right back. Sufficiently cleaned up these, uh, these bad boys being my peepers. And uh, now we are going to go in with that blue shade. Uh, there's a lot at stake because I really want this to be a beautiful shade. I, I hope that it's going to be, but I've been kind of let down by the other shades. So let's see, let's see what's going on. I may have chosen the wrong brush if I'm being 100% honest, but that's fine, we can adjust that. But can you guys see it? Like, did, can you see it's picked up? Hopefully, uh, hopefully it, it pays off on the eye as well. <sighs> yeah, I definitely think I have the wrong brush. I'm gonna change that up, but like, wow. Yes, okay, yes. Yeah, I'm a fan, I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that actually. So let's try a little bit of a fluffier brush. I think that's gonna help a little fluffier and a little wider. So that way I can get more surface area done and I'm not sitting here like basically packing it on for like 10 minutes. Oh yes, uh, yes baby, yes. Uh, redeem this palette, you bad bitch. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. It is getting a little creepy. Like when I close my eyes, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like certain areas where the glitter is not quite going in. There is some fallout too, but that is okay. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I want to get the teal color in on this eye so I can get a full picture of how it's going to look all together. And then um, we'll go ahead and do the other eye. Oh, that color is gorgeous too. I really like that color. <sighs> Love it. Yeah, I really like, that's like those two glitter shades right there are like the, they are the ticket with this palette. So if you're buying the bundle set, I would say that for this palette particularly is going to be great for your shimmers. I would love to test out the yellow and I will probably do that off camera and then like maybe report back. But like, I really, oh, I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna blend it out just a touch, just a touch. Yeah, actually it came together pretty cool. Very mermaid-ish. I don't know why, I just feel like a mermaid with this. Not a bad thing, it's a great thing actually. Who would, who doesn't wanna be a mermaid? But it's that's the vibe I'm feeling with this particular eye look. I don't know if that's necessarily techno, but um, that's the choice that I made. This is my techno, so that's my techno narrative. Let's make a match, let's put on some mascara, let's do a photo shoot, and let's see how this bad boy turned out. Also, uh, the jumpsuit that I'm wearing and the shoes that I'm wearing are absolutely not what I would assume people would wear at like a rave, which is I guess where people listen to techno music. I don't know. I mean, I like, you know, dance music as much as the next person, but I don't really know like what setting you would, do you go to like a techno concert or or, or what? Uh, I would definitely not choose to wear this in, in this particular setting, but it really matched. And I just got this jumpsuit and I was very excited about how well it matched the eye look that I was thinking of. So uh, I just went with it and the shoes are uh, not at all conducive to any sort of concert or musical event where you would be standing on your feet at for long periods of time but like we're not here for comfort we're here for fashion all right let's finish this It's not techno dancing. I don't know what I'm doing. He wasn't even paying attention. He's just like, are you taking your Amber Underquist still? What'd you get? I don't know yet. It's very long. 
My God. What is it, the SAT? I don't know. I'm on like question 20. Of how many? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Does it tell you like you're 50% of the way through or anything? Nope. It tells me what percentage of people chose the answers that I chose. Well, that's important information. That's what yeah. you really need to know. I've All right, this is pre-mascara. What you think, Nick? That's good. Do you like it? Yeah, it does. I think the colors really go well together. I feel like you didn't like it. You looked at it and you might like. I like it. <laughs> I like it too. I think it looks really good. Take it back for a swamp bender. Yeah. What the hell is a swamp bender? It's exactly what it sounds like. We all know I'm a firebender. I would burn you and everything you loved and not even regret it. I got water bender. That's pretty cool. I can see that. Much like an ocean, sometimes you can be calm and reasonable, but other times, mostly when faced with a threat, you're forced, you're forced to be reckoned with. Go for peace and love and you have more faith in others than you do in yourself, people often come to you for help, and you're the one who ends up bringing people together. Yeah, actually, it's pretty fitting. Uh, they also forgot the part where you cry a lot. I mean, Katara cried a lot. Yeah, no. Like, in half the show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. cry a lot. So much hope. All the hope. It's like a color scheme going on right now. It kind of looks like an Earth Thunder. Kinda, I could feel that. This would be like a good Earth Day look. Yeah, it would be. Especially, like, post-COVID, because, like, really, it would be a lot more gray. <laughs> Now, now with everybody being stuck at home, it's gotten a little greener, but yeah. Where's the lie? I don't know. <laughs> Stop staring at me. Judging my makeup. I was thinking about how pretty you look. No, because you think it looks bad and you don't want to say that. No, I would tell you. <laughs> Bitch, your face busted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ugly and I'm proud. I wake up every morning and say that. Actually, that's the second thing I, I think. The first thing I think is why the hell am I up? I don't go to work. All right, so this is our final product, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really was, uh, I was nervous on the start with the, the lime green and the teal not being as vibrant as I was hoping they would be, but I really think that the look came together. It is incredibly unique. So honestly, I think that this palette is definitely worth it. If I were to rank them, I would probably go, and I will also say, total tangent, jumping on a train, going this way, sorry. But I will say, I'm also not a blue person. I am not the type of person who normally wears blue eyeshadows. I don't wear blue a lot as a color. Even though I love it, it just doesn't work well on me normally. So I try and avoid it. That being said, I really like the blues in this because they're more of green blues and I love green. So I, for me, it worked out really nicely. And then the blue, the blue shimmer shade is one of my favorites in, in my collection, if I'm being honest. There's not a lot of blue glitters that I'm like, I love that shade and I love this shade. So that's that's a big thing for me. Now, because of versatility and how often I think I will use the palettes in ranking system, we're gonna keep Rock at number one because I really enjoyed that palette and I think it is very versatile and it is something that I can use more regularly. This is going to be some of a more like niche look, like Nikki joked about, you know, Earth Day. It actually would work well with Earth Day. So I think this would be second because it is unique, but it is something I'm going to use less regularly. And Pop still is number three because it just is not very, groundbreaking. Not a bad thing, just is very basic. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps our page out an absolute ton. If you haven't joined the Dark Angel family yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. Like I said, in this series alone, we have three more palettes to review and we've got two already posted and the haul video with it. So there's a lot if you're interested in looking at this full collection on a deeper scale, uh, definitely consider checking those out as well. Other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and well and uh, you stay girly with a dark twist.